Hey, what's up everybody? It's the guy DSKJ here. And this right here is a box that I purchased from Bai. It's a website that lets you order anything from different Japanese auction sites like Yahoo Japan or let's say Mercari, stuff like that. I'm here to make this video because I ordered a Nintendo 64 off of that website and I'll show the little ad right here. And uh, it seemed too good to be true. It's a really good price. I ended up paying 33 US dollars for it and then 44, no, 33 US dollars for it and 31 US dollars for shipping. So in total, I paid about, what's that, $64? Yeah, 33 and 31. Wow, what a crazy coincidence. So I paid about $64 for this Japanese Nintendo 64 that claimed that it came with eight games, uh, really good games too. It's Mario Golf, I think, Mario Tennis, uh, Super Smash Brothers, Mario Kart, uh, Super Mario 64 and Mario Party 1, 2, and 3. So that would be all eight games right there, if I'm counting correctly, unless I uh, send one of the games twice. <laughs> but let's go ahead and open this up, see what we got here. There's a bunch of tape everywhere. Um, let's see, where the heck am I going to start from? Let's go ahead and start here. Let's go ahead and uh, unbox this real quick. Let's move this to the side, about here. Um, yeah, okay. Take this off. Oh, okay, so that was the top of the box, but it looks like it was packaged upside down. So let's take a look at the system real quick. Make sure that's what everybody wants to look at. Wow, there is no scratching right here. I remember having a lot of friends that would scratch their name right here onto this little plate right here. All right, looks like that's nice and clean. It's never been popped open. This is a pretty nice example right here. Wow, I don't think this was ever played that. And if it was, it was hard to use. The thing right here, there aren't any scratches right here on the little feet, none. It's amazing. There's no like uh, scratching right here either on the ports where you might have missed trying to connect it or anything. It doesn't look like it was ever dropped. It doesn't look like it's a replacement case. It looks all original. Mm, it looks like the faceplate might have been replaced or maybe it did get dropped at one point because there's two cracks going right here through the middle, two little hair thin cracks. But other than that, there's no scratches. There's a scuff mark right here, but that might be from shipping. Mm, still looks really good. A little bit dirty on the top, but Let's check out the memory expansion port. Oh, look at that. Yeah, this is a really good example. Do not remove jumper pack from control decks, the instruction booklet. This has never had an expansion pack put into it. This has never been messed with, wow. Okay, let me <laughs> stop admiring this for a second. Oh, no sticky reset. Wow, really good, okay. So we got that. Let's check out what else is in here. Wow, look at this controller. It has some pretty bad sun damage, but it looks really good. The control stick is nice and responsive. Snaps back really quick. Wow, this is a really good controller. No sticky buttons. And wow, look at that. This wasn't even mentioned in the app, but it came with a controller pack. <laughs> Sweet. Wow, and it's, and it's just as freaking sun damaged as the controller itself. Okay, um, on to the next thing. Let's get one of the games. There's the Mario Party that came with it. All right, um, all right, here's a Dironto that came with it. Pretty cool. Looks like there might be some sun damage or maybe some water damage right here on the front. Oh wow, the back label's really bad on that one. Let's check out the back on this one. This one's not as bad, but this one's okay. All right, let's see, we got a uh, Mario Tennis 64. That one looks to be in good condition. We also got us uh, Mario Party 2. Really good right there. The pins don't look to be that bad on any of these. It looks like these weren't even used at all. This Dironto does have some damage though. This one was probably one that was used a lot or probably used as a coaster because there's some water damage on it. Hmm, crazy. Okay, um, Super Mario 64. Looks like we got the Shindo version. This one's also in pretty good condition and the pins are immaculate. The only one that seems to be damaged is that Dironto. Here's the Mario Kart 64. Yeah, the pins on this one are phenomenal. Oh, wow. Really cool. 
Um, I'm gonna have to translate that later. Um, if anyone wants to translate it before I translate it and put it in the comments, thank you. Um, looks like we got Mario Golf. And this one also seems to be almost brand new. Wow. Incredible, $64 and everything's in here. And another remote, perfect control stick. No sticky buttons, no controller pack on this one, but it's all right, I'm not complaining. I got one for free and it wasn't even listed, so I'm just gonna count my blessing on that one. Wow, all of this seems amazing and it's all actual Nintendo branded. And this works amazing and these things go for what? like. 20 25 dollars used and i got three of them in perfect working condition wow the controllers alone were worth it uh, this one i think i might make it to a custom one seeing that the show's a little beat up i might send it down along with the controller pack i might send it down make it a princess peach themed controller that would be pretty cool um yeah look see here's the color cord that i was telling you with the little hair band but okay, this is cool. Uh, Nintendo branded. Everything here is Nintendo branded. It's amazing. Oh, look, a game that I forgot. Mario Party 3. Awesome. And this one has a little bit of use to it, but not as bad as the other ones. Oh, the other ones are like new. Oh, wow. Look at this power unit. Look at that warning. I don't think the Americans have, ones have that warning. Or they probably do, but it, the one I own was taken off. And the 64 that I owned as a kid, I don't remember if it had a warning or not. But look at this plug. That's an interesting plug. I've never seen a plug like this. On the 64s, at least the American ones, when I remember growing up, they all had like a white band going through it. Here, let me grab my American example so I can show you. Okay, man, I probably should have been better prepared, but this is what happens when you do an unboxing video, huh? You don't know what the heck's gonna go on. All right, so check this out. So this one right here is the Japanese copy, or Japanese one. And here's the North American version. They're exactly the same, like same plug, same uh, voltage, same shape, same clip, same everything. But these are a little bit, thinner and these have a white wire going through them this one has the warning this one does not but it doesn't look like there was ever a sticker on this one do these have a sticker someone should let me know Man, i should probably do some research too but yeah this is really interesting wow the serial numbers right here are smaller there's no caution up here on the Japanese version, but it is down here. Huh, that is really cool. That is very interesting. Even the Nintendo logos are different on these. This one right here is the Japanese one, and this one right here is the American one. The logos are a little bit smaller, and the Japanese adapter feels a little bit heavier. Huh, that is really interesting. But wow. For $64, I got a pristine 64. Ooh, wow, oops. Three controllers, a controller pack, the cords, everything. 64 bucks, very clean. Wow, man, I still can't believe the condition of this. Super clean, very nice, amazing, 64 bucks. Sometimes it sounds too good to be true and it is, but in this case, why it didn't do me bad? Oh man, I'm probably destroying the freaking control sticks on these. I need to be careful. <laughs> but yeah, if you're um, <clears throat> like hesitant or cautious or like wary or maybe you're having second thoughts about ordering something from buying, I definitely would because you know, it's uh, overseas. There's a lot of scammers, especially nowadays. You can't be too careful. But with my experience from buying, I say it's totally worth it. I mean, I, I got a discount from using someone's code. I forgot who it was. Um, if I remember, I'll put it in the comments whose code I use and whose channel. But uh, I saw a video that gave me a coupon for it. This is not sponsored, by the way. Bye if you want to sponsor me. 
That'd be cool. I mean, God, hit me up. That'd be cool. I I'll do it. I mean, I had no problems. I got um, I got the shipping information. I got the package information, the tracking information, everything. It was really easy. And um, the shipping was, like I said, $31. But it got here in less than a week. It quoted me five to seven days, and it got here in about three. So uh, speedy delivery. It, I mean, it's great. I think there's options to insure your packages. I'm not sure. Do not quote me and take my word for that. I am not sure. I, I went with one of the cheapest options, which was, uh, or, or I think I went with one of the medium priced options that it ended up coming to about five to seven days, but I got it quicker. Definitely worth it. All right, uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm gonna have to do a different video testing this out, but I don't even think I have to. This thing looks like it works just fine. No rattling, nothing. It, it, I mean, it's just perfect. It's amazing. Wow. All right, thanks for watching, guys.